It's a place that brings so many people to our city, known for its vibrant restaurant scene. But tonight, we're talking about deadly violence in Fells Point. Thanks for staying with WJZ at 530. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Coco. Tonight, sadly, a man has lost his life after being shot along Thames Street, right near a block of popular bars, restaurants, shops. And while it's difficult to keep telling you about, we have to. We're working to get you answers on why this keeps happening in our city and what is being done to keep you and your family safe. So WJZ is live in Fells Point tonight, and Christina Mendez has what we are learning about this latest shooting. Christina. In the heart of Fells Point, we know that a man was shot and someone pulled out that gun, pulled the trigger with a security guard standing nearby and two police officers just 300 feet away. Let's look at the scene together. This is video showing the aftermath of the shooting that happened just before 1 a.m. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says officers believe a group of people were leaving one of these businesses when there was a confrontation. The situation escalated. One of the people took out an illegal gun and shot a 30 year old man. The victim died at the hospital. This homicide investigation follows other major incidents in the area this year. Three men were arrested in connection to a Thames Street shooting in January, where one man was shot multiple times but survived. And a man was arrested this month for the killing of La Scala General Manager Chesley Patterson on Eastern Avenue, also in January. This most recent case, the commissioner believes the deployment of officers was done right. So far, detectives have not made any arrests in this case, but if you have any information, please contact police. I'm reporting live from Fells Point tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.